The World Series is the annual championship series of Major League Baseball (MLB) in North America, contested since 1903 between the American League (AL) champion team and the National League (NI) champion team. The winner of the World Series championship is determined through a best of 7 playoff, and the winning team is awarded the Commissioner's Trophy. As the series is played during the fall season in North America, it is sometimes referred to as the Fall Classic. Prior to 1969, the team with the best regular season win loss record in each league automatically advanced to the World Series. Since then, each league has conducted a championship series ALCS and NLCS preceding the World Series to determine which teams will advance. As of 2018, the World Series has been contested 114 times, with the AL winning 66 and the NI winning 48. The 2018 World Series took place between the Los Angeles Dodgers and Boston Red Sox from October 23–28, with the Red Sox winning in five games to earn their ninth title. This was the first World Series meeting between these two teams since 1916. Having previously lost to the Houston Astros in the 2017 World Series, the Dodgers became the 11th team to lose the World Series in consecutive seasons. In the American League, the New York Yankees have played in 40 World Series and won 27, the Philadelphia, Kansas City, Oakland Athletics have played in 14 and won 9, and the Boston Red Sox have played in 13 and won 9, including the first World Series. In the National League, the St. Louis Cardinals have appeared in 19 and won 11, the New York, San Francisco Giants have played in 19 and won 8, the Brooklyn, Los Angeles Dodgers have appeared in 20 and won 6, and the Cincinnati Reds have appeared in 9 and won 5. As of 2018, no team has won consecutive World Series championships since the New York Yankees in 1998, 1999, and 2000 the longest such drought in Major League Baseball history. Precursors to the modern World Series 1857 The original World Series Until the formation of the American Association in 1882 as a second major league, the National Association of Professional Baseball Players 1871 and then the National League founded 1876 represented the top level of organized baseball in the United States. All championships were awarded to the team with the best record at the end of the season, without a postseason series being played. From 1884 to 1890, the National League and the American Association faced each other in a series of games at the end of the season to determine an overall champion. These series were disorganized in comparison to the modern World Series, with the terms arranged through negotiation of the owners of the championship teams beforehand. The number of games played ranged from as few as three in 1884, Providence defeated New York three games to zero, to a higher 15 in 1887, Detroit beat St. Louis ten games to five. Both the 1885 and 1890 series ended in ties, each team having won three games with one tie game. The series was promoted and referred to as the Championship of the United States. World's Championship Series or World Series, for short. In his book Krakatoa, The Day the World Exploded, August 27, 1883, Simon Winchester mentions in passing that the World Series was named for the New York World newspaper, but this view is disputed. The 19th century competitions are, however, not officially recognized as part of World Series history by Major League Baseball, as it considers 19th century baseball to be a prologue to the modern baseball era. Until about 1960, some sources treated the 19th century series on an equal basis with the post 19th century series. After about 1930, however, many authorities list the start of the World Series in 1903 and discuss the earlier contests separately. 
For example, the 1929 World Almanac and Book of Facts lists Baseball World's Championships 1884 to 1928 in a single table, but the 1943 edition lists Baseball World Championships 1903 to 1942. Topic 1892 to 1900. The Monopoly Years. Following the collapse of the American Association after the 1891 season, the National League was again the only major league. The league championship was awarded in 1892 by a playoff between half-season champions. This scheme was abandoned after one season. Beginning in 1893, and continuing until divisional play was introduced in 1969, the pennant was awarded to the first-place club in the standings at the end of the season. For four seasons, 1894–1897, the league champions played the runners-up in the post-season championship series called the Temple Cup. A second attempt at this format was the Chronicle Telegraph Cup series, which was played only once, in 1900. In 1901, the American League was formed as a second major league. No championship series were played in 1901 or 1902 as the National and American Leagues fought each other for business supremacy. In 1902, the top teams instead opted to compete in a football championship. Topic: <laughs> Modern World Series 1903 present. Topic. First attempt After two years of bitter competition and player raiding, the National and American Leagues made peace and, as part of the accord, several pairs of teams squared off for interleague exhibition games after the 1903 season. These series were arranged by the participating clubs, as the 1880s World Series matches had been. One of them matched the two pennant winners, Pittsburgh Pirates of the NI and Boston Americans later known as the Red Sox of the AL, that one is known as the 1903 World Series played at Huntington Avenue grounds. It had been arranged well in advance by the two owners, as both teams were league leaders by large margins. Boston upset Pittsburgh by five games to three, winning with pitching depth behind Cy Young and Bill Dineen and with the support of the band of Royal Rooters. The series brought much civic pride to Boston and proved the new American League could beat the Nationals. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Boycott of 1904. The 1904 series, if it had been held, would have been between the AL's Boston Americans, Boston Red Sox, and the NL's New York Giants, now the San Francisco Giants. At that point, there was no governing body for the World Series nor any requirement that a series be played. Thus, the Giants owner John T. Brush refused to allow his team to participate in such an event, citing the inferiority of the upstart American League. John McGraw, the Giants manager, even went so far as to say that his Giants were already world champions, since they were the champions of the only real major league. At the time of the announcement, their new cross-town rivals, the New York Highlanders now the New York Yankees, were leading the AL, and the prospect of facing the Highlanders did not please Giants management. Boston won on the last day of the season, and the leagues had previously agreed to hold a World Championship Series in 1904, but it was not binding, and Brush stuck to his original decision. In addition to political reasons, Brush also factually cited the lack of rules under which money would be split, where games would be played, and how they would be operated and staffed. During the winter of 1904–1905, however, feeling the sting of press criticism, Brush had a change of heart and proposed what came to be known as the "'Brush Rules", under which the series were played subsequently. One rule was that player shares would come from a portion of the gate receipts for the first four games only. 
This was to discourage teams from fixing early games in order to prolong the series and make more money. Receipts for later games would be split among the two clubs and the National Commission, the governing body for the sport, which was able to cover much of its annual operating expense from World Series revenue. Most importantly, the now official and compulsory World Series matches were operated strictly by the National Commission itself, not by the participating clubs. With the new rules in place and the National Commission in control, McGraw's Giants made it to the 1905 series, and beat the Philadelphia Athletics four games to one. Since then the series has been held every year except 1994, when it was cancelled due to a player's strike. The list of postseason rules evolved over time. In 1925, Brooklyn owner Charles Ebbets persuaded others to adopt as a permanent rule the 2-3-2 two pattern used in 1924. Prior to 1924, the pattern had been to alternate by game or to make another arrangement convenient to both clubs. The 2-3-2 two two pattern has been used ever since save for the 1943 and 1945 World Series, which followed a 3-4 pattern due to World War II travel restrictions. In 1944, the normal pattern was followed because both teams were based in the same home stadium. Topic: 1919 Black Sox scandal. Gambling and game fixing had been a problem in professional baseball from the beginning. Star pitcher Jim Devlin was banned for life in 1877, when the National League was just two years old. Baseball's gambling problems came to a head in 1919, when eight players of the Chicago White Sox were alleged to have conspired to throw the 1919 World Series. The Sox had won the series in 1917 and were heavy favorites to beat the Cincinnati Reds in 1919, but first baseman Chick Gandal had other plans. Gandal, in collaboration with gambler Joseph Sport Sullivan, approached his teammates and got six of them to agree to throw the series, starting pitchers Eddie Seacott and lefty Williams, shortstop Swede Risberg, left fielder Shulis Joe Jackson, center fielder Happy Felsch, and utility infielder Fred McMullen. Third baseman Buck Weaver knew of the fix but declined to participate, hitting .324 for the series from 11 hits and committing no errors in the field. The Sox, who were promised $100,000 for cooperating, proceeded to lose the series in eight games, pitching poorly, hitting poorly and making many errors. Though he took the money, Jackson insisted to his death that he played to the best of his ability in the series, he was the best hitter in the series, including having hit the series' only home run, but had markedly worse numbers in the games the White Sox lost. During the series, writer and humorist Ring Lardner had facetiously called the event the World Serious. The series turned out to indeed have serious consequences for the sport. After rumors circulated for nearly a year, the players were suspended in September 1920. The Black Sox were acquitted in a criminal conspiracy trial. However, baseball in the meantime had established the Office of Commissioner in an effort to protect the game's integrity, and the first commissioner, Kennesaw Mountain Landers, banned all of the players involved, including Weaver, for life. The White Sox would not win a World Series again until 2005. The events of the 1919 series, segueing into the live ball era, marked a point in time of change of the fortunes of several teams. The two most prolific World Series winners to date, the New York Yankees and the St. Louis Cardinals, did not win their first championship until the 1920s, and three of the teams that were highly successful prior to 1920 the Boston Red Sox, Chicago White Sox and the Chicago Cubs went the rest of the 20th century without another World Series win. The Red Sox and White Sox finally won again in 2004 and 2005, respectively. The Cubs had to wait over a century until the 2016 season for their next trophy. They did not appear in the Fall Classic from 1945 until 2016, the longest drought of any MLB club. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> New York Yankees dynasty, 1920 to 1964. The New York Yankees purchased Babe Ruth from the Boston Red Sox after the 1919 season, appeared in their first World Series two years later in 1921, and became frequent participants thereafter. Over a period of 45 years from 1920 to 1964, the Yankees played in 29 World Series championships, winning 20. The team's dynasty reached its apex between 1947 and 1964, when the Yankees reached the World Series 15 times in 18 years, helped by an agreement with the Kansas City Athletics after that team moved from Philadelphia during 1954–1955 offseason whereby the teams made several deals advantageous to the Yankees until ended by new Athletics owner Charles O. Finley. During that span, the Yankees played in all World Series except 1948, 1954, and 1959, winning 10. From 1949 to 1953, the Yankees won the World Series five years in a row. From 1936 to 1939, the Yankees won four World Series championships in a row. There are only two other occasions when a team has won at least three consecutive World Series, 1972–1974 by the Oakland Athletics, and 1998–2000 by the New York Yankees. Topic: 1947–1964, New York City teams dominate World Series play. In an 18 year span from 1947 to 1964, except for 1948 and 1959, the World Series was played in New York City, featuring at least one of the three teams located in New York at the time. The Dodgers and Giants moved to California after the 1957 season, leaving the Yankees as the lone team in the city until the Mets were enfranchised in 1962. During this period, other than 1948, 1954, and 1959, the Yankees represented the American League in the World Series. In the years 1947, 1949, 1951 to 1953, and 1955, 1956, both teams in the World Series were from New York, with the Yankees playing against either the Dodgers or Giants. The World Series in California In 1958, the Brooklyn Dodgers and New York Giants took their longtime rivalry to the West Coast, moving to Los Angeles and San Francisco, respectively, bringing Major League Baseball west of St. Louis and Kansas City. The Dodgers were the first of the two clubs to contest a World Series on the West Coast, defeating the Chicago White Sox in 1959. The 1962 Giants made the first California World Series appearance of that franchise, losing to the Yankees. The Dodgers made three World Series appearances in the 1960s, a 1963 win over the Yankees, a 1965 win over the Minnesota Twins and a 1966 loss to the Baltimore Orioles. In 1968, the Kansas City Athletics relocated to Oakland and the following year 1969, the National League granted a franchise to San Diego as the San Diego Padres. The A's became a powerful dynasty, winning three consecutive World Series from 1972 to 1974. In 1974, the A's played the Dodgers in the first All-California World Series. The Padres have two World Series appearances a 1984 loss to the Detroit Tigers, and a 1998 loss to the New York Yankees. The Dodgers won two more World Series in the 1980s 1981, 1988. The A's again went to three straight World Series, from 1988 to 1990, winning once. 1988 and 1989 were all California Series as the A's lost to the Dodgers and beat the Giants, respectively. 
The Giants have been in four World Series in the new millennium, losing in 2002 to the Anaheim Angels, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim from 2005 to 2015, and winning in 2010 Rangers, 2012 Tigers, and 2014 Royals. Topic: 1969 League Championship Series. Prior to 1969, the National League and the American League each crowned its champion, the pennant winner, based on the best win loss record at the end of the regular season. A structured playoff series began in 1969, when both the National and American Leagues were reorganized into two divisions each, East and West. The two division winners within each league played each other in a best of five league championship series to determine who would advance to the World Series. In 1985, the format changed to best of seven. The National League Championship Series (NLCS) and American League Championship Series (ALCS), since the expansion to best of seven, are always played in a 2-3-2 format. Games one, two, six, and seven are played in the stadium of the team that has home field advantage, and games three, four, and five are played in the stadium of the team that does not. Topic. 1970s Topic 1971 World Series at Night MLB night games started being held in 1935 by the Cincinnati Reds but the World Series remained a strictly daytime event for years thereafter in the final game of the 1949 World Series, a series game was finished under lights for the first time. The first scheduled night World Series game was Game 4 of the 1971 World Series at Three Rivers Stadium. Afterward, World Series games were frequently scheduled at night, when television audiences were larger. Game 6 of the 1987 World Series was the last World Series game played in the daytime, indoors at the Metrodome in Minnesota. The last World Series played outdoors during the day was the final game of the 1984 Series in Detroit's Tiger Stadium. 1972–1978, Threepeat, Repeats, and Fisk's home run During this seven-year period, only three teams won the World Series, the Oakland Athletics from 1972 to 1974, Cincinnati Reds in 1975 and 1976, and New York Yankees in 1977 and 1978. This is the only time in World Series history in which three teams have won consecutive series in succession. This period was book-ended by World Championships for the Pittsburgh Pirates, in 1971 and 1979. However, the Baltimore Orioles made three consecutive World Series appearances, 1969, losing to the amazing eight-year-old franchise New York Mets, 1970, beating the Reds in their first World Series appearance of the decade, and 1971, losing to the Pittsburgh Pirates, as well their 1979 appearance, when they again lost to the Pirates, and the Los Angeles Dodgers back-to-back -back World Series appearances in 1977 and 1978, both losses to the New York Yankees, as well in 1974 losing against the cross-state rival Oakland Athletics. Game 6 of the 1975 World Series is regarded by most as one of the greatest World Series games ever played. It found the Boston Red Sox winning in the 12th inning in Fenway Park, defeating the Cincinnati Reds to force a seventh and deciding game. The game is best remembered for its exciting lead changes, nail-biting turns of events, and a game-winning walk-off home run by Carlton Fisk, resulting in a 7-6 Red Sox victory. Topic 1976: The designated hitter comes to the World Series. 
The National and American Leagues operated under essentially identical rules until 1973, when the American League adopted the designated hitter DH rule, allowing its teams to use another hitter to bat in place of the usually weak hitting pitcher. The National League did not adopt the DH rule. This presented a problem for the World Series, whose two contestants would now be playing their regular season games under different rules. From 1973 to 1975, the World Series did not include a DH. Starting in 1976, the World Series allowed for the use of a DH in even numbered years only. The Cincinnati Reds swept the 1976 series in four games, using the same nine-man lineup in each contest. Van Driessen was the Reds' DH during the series, thereby becoming the National League's first designated hitter. Finally, in 1986, baseball adopted the current rule in which the DH is used for World Series games played in the AL Champions Park but not the NI Champions, thus, the DH rule's use or non use can not affect the performance of the home team. Topic. 1980s Topic. 1984, Anderson becomes first to win in both leagues. The 1984 Detroit Tigers gained distinction as just the third team in Major League history after the 1927 New York Yankees and 1955 Brooklyn Dodgers to lead a season wire to wire, from opening day through their World Series victory. In the process, Tigers skipper Sparky Anderson became the first manager to win a World Series title in both leagues, having previously won in 1975 and 1976 with the Cincinnati Reds. 1987, Twins first World Series champion to win every home game. The 1987 Minnesota Twins became the first team in the history of the World Series to win the championship by winning all four games they hosted when they defeated the St. Louis Cardinals. They repeated this four years later in 1991 when they defeated the Atlanta Braves. Topic: 1988 Kirk Gibson's home run. The 1988 World Series is remembered for the iconic home run by the Los Angeles Dodgers' Kirk Gibson with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning of Game 1. The Dodgers were huge underdogs against the 104-win Oakland Athletics, who had swept the Boston Red Sox in the ALCS. Baseball's top relief pitcher, Dennis Eckersley, closed out all four games in the ALCS, and he appeared ready to do the same in Game 1 against a Dodgers team trailing 4–3 in the ninth. After getting the first two outs, Eckersley walked Mike Davis of the Dodgers, who were playing without Gibson, their best position player and the NI MVP. Gibson had injured himself in the NLCS and was expected to miss the entire World Series. Yet, despite not being able to walk without a noticeable limp, Gibson surprised all in attendance at Dodger Stadium, and all watching on TV, by pinch hitting. After two quick strikes and then working the count full, Gibson hit a home run to right, inspiring iconic pronouncements by two legendary broadcasters calling the game, Vin Scully on TV and Jack Buck on radio. On NBC, as Gibson limped around the bases, Scully famously exclaimed, the impossible has happened." And on radio, Buck equally famously exclaimed, "'I don't believe what I just saw.'" Gibson's home run set the tone for the series, as the Dodgers went on to beat the A's four games to one. The severity of Gibson's injury prevented him from playing in any of the remaining games. <laughs> 1989 – Earthquake When the 1989 World Series began, it was notable chiefly for being the first ever World Series matchup between the two San Francisco Bay Area teams, the San Francisco Giants and Oakland Athletics. 
Oakland won the first two games at home, and the two teams crossed the bridge to San Francisco to play Game 3 on Tuesday, October 17. ABC's broadcast of Game 3 began at 5 p.m. local time, approximately 30 minutes before the first pitch was scheduled. At 5.04, while broadcasters Al Michaels and Tim McCarver were narrating highlights and the teams were warming up, the Loma Prieta earthquake occurred, having a surface wave magnitude of 7.1 with an epicenter 10 miles 16 kilometers northeast of Santa Cruz, California. The earthquake caused substantial property and economic damage in the Bay Area and killed 63 people. Television viewers saw the video signal deteriorate and heard Michaels say, I'll tell you what, we're having an earth, before the feed from Candlestick Park was lost. Fans filing into the stadium saw Candlestick sway visibly during the quake. Television coverage later resumed, using backup generators, with Michaels becoming a news reporter on the unfolding disaster. Approximately 30 minutes after the earthquake, Commissioner Faye Vincent ordered the game to be postponed. Fans, workers, and the teens evacuated a blacked-out, although still sunlit, candlestick. Game 3 was finally played on October 27, and Oakland won that day and the next to complete a four-game sweep. Topic. 1990s. Topic 1992-1993: The World Series enters Canada. World Series games were contested outside of the United States for the first time in 1992, with the Toronto Blue Jays defeating the Atlanta Braves in six games. The World Series returned to Canada in 1993, with the Blue Jays victorious again, this time against the Philadelphia Phillies in six games. No other series has featured a team from outside of the United States. Toronto is the only expansion team to win successive World Series titles. The 1993 World Series was also notable for being only the second championship concluded by a walk-off home run and the first concluded by a come-from-behind homer, after Joe Carter's three-run shot in the bottom of the ninth inning sealed an 8-6 Toronto win in Game 6. The first series to end with a homer was the 1960 World Series, when Bill Mazieroski hit a ninth-inning solo shot in Game 7 to win the championship for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Topic: 1994 League Division Series. In 1994, each league was restructured into three divisions, with the three division winners and the newly introduced wild card winner advancing to a best of five playoff round. The Division Series. The National League Division Series (NLDS) and American League Division Series (ALDS). The team with the best league record is matched against the wild card team, unless they are in the same division, in which case, the team with the second best record plays against the wild card winner. The remaining two division winners are pitted against each other. The winners of the series in the first round advance to the best of seven NLCS and ALCS. Due to a player's strike, however, the NLDS and ALDS were not played until 1995. Beginning in 1998, home field advantage was given to the team with the better regular season record, with the exception that the wild card team cannot get home field advantage. Topic: 1994-1995 strike. After the boycott of 1904, the World Series was played every year until 1994 despite World War I, the global influenza pandemic of 1918–1919, the Great Depression of the 1930s, America's involvement in World War II, and even an earthquake in the host cities of the 1989 World Series. A breakdown in collective bargaining led to a strike in August 1994 and the eventual cancellation of the rest of the season, including the playoffs. 
As the labor talks began, baseball franchise owners demanded a salary cap in order to limit payrolls, the elimination of salary arbitration, and the right to retain free agent players by matching a competitor's best offer. The Major League Baseball Players Association MLBPA refused to agree to limit payrolls, noting that the responsibility for high payrolls lay with those owners who were voluntarily offering contracts. One difficulty in reaching a settlement was the absence of a commissioner. When Faye Vincent was forced to resign in 1992, owners did not replace him, electing instead to make Milwaukee Brewers owner Bud Selig acting commissioner. Thus, baseball headed into the 1994 work stoppage without a full time commissioner for the first time since the office was founded in 1920. The previous collective bargaining agreement expired on December 31, 1993, and baseball began the 1994 season without a new agreement. Owners and players negotiated as the season progressed, but owners refused to give up the idea of a salary cap and players refused to accept one. On August 12, 1994, the players went on strike. After a month passed with no progress in the labor talks, Selig cancelled the rest of the 1994 season and the postseason on September 14. The World Series was not played for the first time in 90 years. The Montreal Expos, now the Washington Nationals, were the best team in baseball at the time of the stoppage, with a record of 74–40. Since their founding in 1969, the Expos, Nationals have never played in a World Series. The labor dispute lasted into the spring of 1995, with owners beginning spring training with replacement players. However, the MLBPA returned to work on April 2, 1995 after a federal judge, future U.S. Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, ruled that the owners had engaged in unfair labor practices. The season started on April 25 and the 1995 World Series was played as scheduled, with Atlanta beating Cleveland four games to two. Topic. 2000s The 2001 World Series was the first World Series to end in November, due to the week-long delay in the regular season after the September 11 attacks. Game 4 had begun on October 31 but went into extra innings and ended early on the morning of November 1, the first time the series had been played in November. Yankee shortstop Derek Jader won the game with a 12th inning walk-off home run and was dubbed Mr. November by elements of the media echoing the media's designation of Reggie Jackson as Mr. October for his slugging achievements during the 1977 World Series. The Boston Red Sox broke their 86-year drought, known as the Curse of the Bambino, defeating the Yankees in the 2004 ALCS after losing the first three games, and then defeating the St. Louis Cardinals in the 2004 World Series. With the 2006 World Series victory by the St. Louis Cardinals, Tony La Russa became the second manager to a win a World Series in both the American and National Leagues. Topic: All-Star Game and Home Field Advantage 2003 to 2016. Prior to 2003, home field advantage in the World Series alternated from year to year between the NI and AL. After the 2002 Major League Baseball All-Star Game ended in a tie, MLB decided to award home field advantage in the World Series to the winner of the All-Star Game. Originally implemented as a two-year trial from 2003 to 2004, the practice was extended. The American League had won every All-Star game since this change until 2010 and thus enjoyed home field advantage from 2002, when it also had home field advantage based on the alternating schedule, through 2009. From 2003 to 2010, the Allen NI had each won the World Series four times, but none of them had gone the full seven games. Since then, the 2011, 2014, 2016, and 2017 World Series have gone the full seven games. 
This rule was subject to debate, with various writers feeling that home field advantage should be decided based on the regular season records of the participants, not on an exhibition game played several months earlier. Some writers especially questioned the integrity of this rule after the 2014 All-Star Game, when St. Louis Cardinals pitcher Adam Wainwright suggested that he intentionally gave Derek Jader some easy pitches to hit in the New York Yankees shortstop's final All-Star appearance before he retired at the end of that season, as Bob Ryan of the Boston Globe wrote in July 2015 about the rule, so now we have a game that's not real baseball determining which league hosts games 1, 2, 6, and 7 in the World Series. It's not a game if pitchers throw one inning. It's not a game if managers try to get everyone on a bloated roster into the game. It's not a game if every franchise, no matter how wretched, has to put a player on the team. If the game is going to count, tell the managers to channel their inner Connie Mack and go for it. However, within the last seven seasons, home field advantage, in terms of deciding World Series games, has not necessarily worked for teams of said games. Since 2014, the home team has not won the deciding game of a World Series. Topic. 2010s. The San Francisco Giants won the World Series in 2010, 2012, and 2014 while failing to qualify to play in the postseason in the intervening seasons. The Texas Rangers were twice only one strike away from winning their first World Series title in 2011, but the St. Louis Cardinals' David Fries, the eventual series MVP, drove in both the tying and winning runs late in Game 6 to force a Game 7. In 2013, the Boston Red Sox won their third World Series of the 2000s, this time at Fenway Park for the first time since 1918. The Kansas City Royals reached the World Series in 2014, which was their first appearance in the postseason since winning the series in 1985. At the time, it was the longest postseason drought in baseball. They lost in seven games to the Giants. The following season, the Royals finished with the American League's best record, and won a second consecutive American League pennant. They defeated the New York Mets in the World Series 4–1, capturing their first title in 30 years. The 2015 contest was the first time that two expansion clubs met for the Fall Classic. In 2016, the Chicago Cubs ended their 108-year-long drought without a World Series title by defeating the Cleveland Indians, rallying from a 3–1 series deficit in the process. That extended Cleveland's World Series title drought to 68 years and counting, the Indians last won the series in 1948 now the longest title drought in the majors. Beginning in 2017, home field advantage in the World Series is awarded to the league champion team with the better regular season win-loss record. If both league champions have the same record, the second tiebreaker would be head-to-head -head record, and if that does not resolve it, the third tiebreaker would be best divisional record. The Houston Astros won the 2017 World Series in seven games against the Los Angeles Dodgers on November 1, 2017, winning their first World Series since their creation in 1962. The Boston Red Sox won the 2018 World Series, beating the Los Angeles Dodgers in five games for their fourth title since 2004. Modern World Series appearances by franchise Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> World Series record by team or franchise 1903 to 2018 Notes American League Al teams have won 66 of the 114 World Series played 57.9% the New York Yankees have won 27 titles, accounting for 23.7% of all series played and 40.9% of the wins by American League teams. 
The St. Louis Cardinals have won 11 World Series, accounting for 9.6% of all series played and 23% of the 48 National League victories. When the first modern World Series was played in 1903, there were eight teams in each league. These 16 franchises, all of which are still in existence, have each won at least two World Series titles. The number of teams was unchanged until 1961, with 14 expansion teams joining MLB since then. Twelve have played in a World Series, the Mariners and Expos, Nationals being the two exceptions. The expansion teams have won 10 of the 22 series, 45%, in which they have played, which is 9% of all 114 series played since 1903. In 2015, the first World Series featuring only expansion teams was played between the Kansas City Royals and New York Mets. Topic: Team patterns in the World Series. This information is up to date through the present time. Topic: Streaks and droughts. Since their first championship in 1923, the New York Yankees have won two or more World Series titles in every decade except the 1980s, when they won none, and now the 2010s, where only one chance remains for them to win one this decade. Additionally, they have won at least one American League pennant in every decade since the 1920s. They have yet to win a pennant or series in the 2010s. The Yankees are the only team in either league to win more than three series in a row, winning in four consecutive seasons from 1936 to 1939, and an MLB record five consecutive seasons from 1949 to 1953. The Yankees also won three consecutive World Series from 1998 to 2000. The only team other than the Yankees to win three consecutive World Series is the Oakland Athletics, who won three straight series from 1972 to 1974. The New York Giants' four World Series appearances from 1921 to 1924 are the most consecutive appearances for any National League franchise. The Yankees are the only American League franchise to appear in four or more consecutive World Series, doing so from 1936 to 1939, 1949 to 1953, 1955 to 1958, 1960 to 1964, and 1998 to 2001. The 1907–1908 Cubs, 1921–1922 Giants and the 1975–1976 Reds are the only National League teams to win back-to-back -back World Series. No National League team has ever won three consecutive World Series. The 1907–1909 Detroit Tigers and the 1911–1913 New York Giants are the only teams to lose three consecutive World Series. The Chicago Cubs hold the record for the longest World Series championship drought of all time, with no titles between 1908 and 2016 108 years. They also hold the longest ever pennant drought of all time, which stretched from 1945 to 2016. Their pennant drought ended with a 4–2 series victory over the Los Angeles Dodgers in the 2016 NLCS. With the Cubs' subsequent victory in the 2016 World Series, the longest active World Series championship drought belongs coincidentally to their opponents in that series, the Cleveland Indians, who have not won a World Series since 1948. The Indians' drought is the second longest active championship drought among all four major professional sports leagues in North America MLB, NBA, NFL, and NHL. Only the NFL's Arizona Cardinals, who last won a league championship in 1947, when the team still operated as the Chicago Cardinals, have a longer active championship drought. The team with the longest active pennant drought among our teams that have played in a World Series at least once is the Baltimore Orioles, who have not reached a World Series since winning their last title in 1983. 
the team with the longest active pennant drought among NI teams that have played in a World Series at least once is the Pittsburgh Pirates, who have not reached a World Series since winning their last title in 1979. This also means that the Pirates hold the second longest active World Series title drought among all teams that have at least one series and longest championship drought among NI teams that have won a series. 23 of the 28 teams to play in the World Series have won it at least once. The only exceptions are, Milwaukee Brewers, formerly Seattle Pilots, San Diego Padres, Colorado Rockies, Tampa Bay Rays, formerly Devil Rays, and Texas Rangers, formerly Washington Senators. The Padres and Rangers have both lost two World Series, the remaining teams have all won series. As of 2019, all teams with three or more World Series appearances have won the World Series at least once. Two teams have never played in the World Series, the National League's Washington Nationals, formerly Montreal Expos, and the American League's Seattle Mariners. Both franchises have competed in a league championship series at least once. The Boston Red Sox have the most World Series titles before their first World Series loss, winning the championship in their first five appearances. 1903, 1912, 1915, 1916, and 1918 before losing in the next series they played, in 1946. The American League's Toronto Blue Jays 1992 and, 1993 and National League's Miami Marlins 1997 and 2003 as the Florida Marlins hold the record for most appearances in a series without ever losing a series. Two other franchises have won their lone appearance, the National League's Arizona Diamondbacks 2001 and American League's Los Angeles Angels 2002 as the Anaheim Angels. The Boston Red Sox have the longest active streak of World Series victories four since the last time they lost a series. They have won titles in 2004, 2007, 2013 and 2018 after their last loss in 1986. The Yankees have the most World Series victories eight between World Series losses. After losing the 1926 World Series to the Cardinals, the Yankees won their next eight appearances in the series 1927, 1928, 1932, 1936, 1937, 1938, 1939, and 1941 before losing in 1942 to the Cardinals again. The Cardinals are the National League leader in this category, with four titles 1944, 1946, 1964, and 1967 between series losses in 1943 and 1968. The Cubs and Dodgers are tied at seven apiece for most World Series losses between World Series victories. The Dodgers lost their first seven appearances in the Fall Classics 1916, 1920, 1941, 1947, 1949, 1952, and 1953 before winning their first title in 1955. The Cubs' situation was the opposite, between winning their last two titles in 1908 and 2016, they lost the World Series in 1910, 1918, 1929, 1932, 1935, 1938, and 1945. The Cleveland Indians have four World Series losses 1954, 1995, 1997, and 2016 since their last crown in 1948, more than any other team in the American League. The longest duration without repeat World Series champions is 18 years, dating back to the 2000 New York Yankees. The previous record of 14 years in between the 1978 New York Yankees win and the 1993 Toronto Blue Jays win was broken when the San Francisco Giants did not qualify for the postseason in 2015 following their victory in the 2014 World Series. The longest sequence of World Series in which each series was won by a different franchise is 10, from 1978 Yankees through 1987 Minnesota Twins. This streak was broken when the Dodgers, which had won in 1981, won in 1988.
Topic game by game Game 7 was won by the home team in the nine World Series between 1980 and 2013 that went to seven games the 1982 St. Louis Cardinals, 1985 Kansas City Royals, 1986 New York Mets, 1987 and 1991 Minnesota Twins, 1997 Florida Marlins, 2001 Arizona Diamondbacks, 2002 Anaheim Angels, and 2011 St. Louis Cardinals before the Giants won Game 7 on the road in 2014. This trend reverses the previous historical trend in which Game 7 had been most often won by the road team, in 1979, 1975, 1972, 1971, 1968, 1967, 1965, and 1962. During the 1960s and 1970s, the home team had won Game 7 only in 1960, 1964, and 1973. To date, only six teams have come back to win a World Series when facing elimination going into Game 5 of a best-of-seven contest, the 1925 Pittsburgh Pirates, who defeated the reigning champion Washington Senators, the 1958 New York Yankees, who defeated the reigning champion Milwaukee Braves in a rematch of the 1957 World Series, the 1968 Detroit Tigers, who defeated the St. Louis Cardinals, the 1979 Pittsburgh Pirates. Pirates, who defeated the Baltimore Orioles, the 1985 Kansas City Royals, who defeated the St. Louis Cardinals, and the 2016 Chicago Cubs, who defeated the Cleveland Indians. Only the Pittsburgh Pirates have accomplished the feat twice, they were the first MLB and NI team to accomplish the feat. By contrast, only the St. Louis Cardinals have twice suffered defeat in the World Series when holding a commanding three games to one lead. The New York Yankees were the first AL team to accomplish the feat. The 1958 Yankees, the 1968 Tigers, the 1979 Pirates, and the 2016 Cubs all accomplished the feat by winning games 6 and 7 on the road. The 1981 Los Angeles Dodgers are the most recent team to win a World Series after losing the first two games on the road against New York. The recent tendency of a team winning the first two games at home and then winning the series suggests the theoretical advantage to gaining home field advantage and the first two games at home. The Pittsburgh Pirates won all five of their World Series championships in seven games. The Minnesota Twins, Washington Senators won all three of their World Series championships in seven games. There have been 19 World Series four-game sweeps, the most recent of which occurred in 2012. Nine teams have swept a World Series at least once, the Yankees having done so most often eight times. The Red Sox, Reds, and Giants have all done it twice. The Braves, Orioles, White Sox, Dodgers, and Athletics have each swept one series. Six of these teams, all but the Orioles, Red Sox and White Sox, have also been swept 0 to 4 in at least one World Series. The Red Sox, two World Series sweeps are the most of any team that has never been swept in one. The Reds and Yankees are the only teams to have swept each other. The Yankees swept the Reds in 1939, while the Reds swept the Yankees in 1976. The Giants are the only team to record World Series sweeps in two cities, New York 1954 and San Francisco 2012. The 1999 Yankees are the last team to date, and the only one since 1966, to sweep a World Series it began on the road as well as the last American League champion to win a World Series it began on the road until the 2017 season when the Astros defeated the Dodgers in seven games. The 1963 Dodgers are the last National League team to date to sweep a World Series it began on the road. The Athletics, Cardinals, Cubs, and Yankees are the only teams to be swept in two World Series. The Athletics and Yankees are the only two of these with at least one World Series sweep to their credit, the other two being among nine teams overall that have never swept a World Series, but have been swept in one, the Tigers, Astros, Indians, Padres, Phillies, Pirates, and Rockies being the others. 
The Cubs in 1907 and the Giants in 1922 won four games to zero, but each of those series included a tied game and are not considered to be true sweeps. In 1907, the first game was the tie and the Cubs won four straight after that. In 1922, Game 2 was the tie. The Cincinnati Reds were the only National League team to sweep any World Series between 1963 and 2012, sweeping their last two series appearances to date in 1976 and 1990. When added to their Game 7 victory in 1975, this means that the Reds have won their last nine consecutive World Series games, making this the current longest winning streak in terms of consecutive World Series games won. The Reds are also to date the only team since the inception of the League Championship Series in 1969 to sweep the entire postseason. The 1976 Big Red Machine swept the Philadelphia Phillies in the National League LCS in three games, and then swept the New York Yankees in the World Series in four games. The longest ever streak of consecutive World Series games won is 14 by the New York Yankees, who won four straight games to win the 1996 World Series after losing the first two games of that series, then swept their next two World Series appearances in 1998 and 1999, and then won the first two games of the 2000 World Series before losing the third game of that series to the New York Mets. The only team to have appeared in a World Series and have no wins in a World Series game is the Colorado Rockies, who were swept in their only appearance to date in 2007. Nine World Series have ended with walk-off hits, i.e., that game in the series ended when the home team won with a base hit in the bottom of the ninth or in extra innings, 1924 asterisk, 1929, 1935, 1953, 1960 asterisk, 1991 asterisk, 1993, 1997 asterisk, and 2001 asterisk. Five of these marked with a asterisk were in a deciding game seven. In addition, the deciding game eight, one game had ended in a tie, of the 1912 World Series ended in a walk-off sacrifice fly. Two men have ended a World Series with a walk-off home run, Bill Mazeroski in 1960 and Joe Carter in 1993. Mazeroski's was a solo shot in the bottom of the ninth of Game 7 to win a championship for the Pittsburgh Pirates, while Carter's was a three-run shot in Game 6 that won a championship for the Toronto Blue Jays. There has been one World Series that ended on a runner caught stealing, on a play that involved three future Hall of Famers. In the bottom of the ninth inning of Game 7 of the 1926 World Series, Babe Ruth of the New York Yankees tried to steal second base with two outs and his team trailing the St. Louis Cardinals 3-2. Ruth was thrown out by Cardinals catcher Bob O'Farrell after Bob Musel swung it and missed a pitch from Grover Cleveland Alexander. St. Louis second baseman Rogers Hornsby applied the tag on Ruth, who in his career was successful on 51% of his stolen base attempts. Ruth, Alexander and Hornsby were inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. One World Series game has ended with a pick-off of a runner. Colton Wong of the St. Louis Cardinals was picked off first base in Game 4 of the 2013 World Series by Boston Red Sox closer Koji Uehara. The score was 4–2 and rookie Wong was a pinch runner. The Philadelphia Phillies and the Tampa Bay Rays are the first teams to have an elimination game, or any game, be suspended because of weather, and not have it cancelled. Game 5 in Philadelphia was suspended on Monday, October 27, 2008 with a 2-2 score, and resumed in the bottom of the sixth on Wednesday, October 29. The Phillies went on to win the game and clinch the series. Both of the Minnesota Twins World Series titles since relocating to the Twin Cities from Washington, D.C., where they were the first Washington Senators, were in seven-game series where all games were won by the home team. 
The Twins accomplished this in 1987, when the Twins defeated the St. Louis Cardinals, then four years later in 1991, when the Twins defeated the Atlanta Braves. The Twins' victories in both series were in Games 1, 2, 6, and 7, while their National League opponents won Games 3, 4, and 5. This same scenario also occurred in 2001, when the Arizona Diamondbacks defeated the New York Yankees. In the three series where every game was won by the home team, a pitcher was named World Series Most Valuable Player MVP. In the 1987 World Series, Frank Viola was the MVP having pitched games 1, 4, and 7, and finishing with a 2-1 record. In 1991, Jack Morris achieved the same feat pitching games 1, 4, and 7 with a 2-0 record and a no decision in game 4, and winning MVP honors. However, Morris's MVP came on the heels of pitching 10 shutout innings in game 7. Finally, in 2001, Kurt Schilling and Randy Johnson took MVP honors by being the reason the Arizona Diamondbacks were in position to win the series. There has only been one instance in World Series history where the series MVP was selected from the losing team, Bobby Richardson of the 1960 New York Yankees. The Boston Red Sox have lost four World Series, all in seven games. 1946, 1967, 1975, and 1986 – four World Series ended with teams clinching the championship in the final game of the series which was not a Game 7 and went into extra innings. The title was won this way in 1939, 1992, 2012, and 2015, with the road team winning each time. The home team has not won a deciding game of a World Series since 2013, and has not done so in six of the last seven seasons. The winning team has scored fewer runs composite on 22 occasions, six of these in six-game series, 1918, 1959, 1977, 1992, 1996, and 2003. Seven game series winners were outscored in 1912, 1924, 1925, 1931, 1940, 1957, 1960, 1962, 1964, 1971, 1972, 1973, 1975, 1991, 1997, and 2002. An equal number of runs were scored by the teams in 1948, six games, 2016, and 2017. A five-game series winner has yet to be outscored, the closest margins were two runs in 1915 and three in 2000. The closest composite margin in a four-game sweep is six runs 1950, 2005. Topic. Local rivalries When two teams share the same state or metropolitan area, fans often develop strong loyalties to one and antipathies towards the other, sometimes building on already existing rivalries between cities or neighborhoods. Before the introduction of interleague play in 1997, the only opportunity for two teams playing in the same area but in different leagues to face each other in official competition would have been in a World Series. <laughs> Cross-town series the first city to host an entire World Series was Chicago in 1906. The Chicago White Sox were known as the Hitless Wonders that year, with the worst team batting average in the American League. The Chicago Cubs had a winning percentage of .763, a record that still stands. But in an upset, the White Sox beat the Cubs four games to two. Fourteen Subway Series have been played entirely within New York City, all including the American League's New York Yankees. Thirteen of them matched the Yankees with either the New York Giants or the Brooklyn Dodgers of the National League. The initial instances occurred in 1921 and 1922, when the Giants beat the Yankees in consecutive World Series that were not technically subway series 
since the teams shared the polo grounds as their home ballpark. The Yankees finally beat the Giants the following year, their first in their brand new Yankee Stadium, and won the two teams three subsequent fall classic matchups in 1936, 1937 and 1951. The Yankees faced Brooklyn seven times in October, winning their first five meetings in 1941, 1947, 1949, 1952 and 1953, before losing to the Dodgers in 1955, Brooklyn's sole world championship. The last Subway Series involving the original New York ball clubs came in 1956, when the Yankees again beat the Dodgers. The trio was separated in 1958 when the Dodgers and Giants moved to California, although the Yankees subsequently met and beat the now San Francisco Giants in 1962, and played the now Los Angeles Dodgers four times, losing to them in a four game sweep in 1963, beating them back to back in 1977 and 1978, and losing to them in 1981. An all-New York series did not recur until 2000, when the Yankees defeated the New York Mets in five games. The last World Series played entirely in one ballpark was the 1944 streetcar series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the St. Louis Browns. The Cardinals won in six games, all held in their shared home, Sportsman's Park. The 1989 World Series, sometimes called the Bay Bridge Series or the Bart Series, after the connecting transit line, featured the Oakland Athletics and the San Francisco Giants, teams that play just across San Francisco Bay from each other. The series is most remembered for the major earthquake that struck the San Francisco Bay area just before Game 3 was scheduled to begin. The quake caused significant damage to both communities and severed the Bay Bridge that connects them, forcing the postponement of the series. Play resumed ten days later, and the A's swept the Giants in four games. The earthquake disruption of the series almost completely overshadowed the fact that the 1989 series represented a resumption after many decades of the October rivalry between the Giants and the A's dating back to the early years of the 20th century, when the then New York Giants had defeated the then Philadelphia Athletics in 1905, and had lost to them in 1911 and again in 1913. The Giants are the only team to have played in cross-town World Series in two cities, having faced the Yankees six times while located in New York, and the Athletics once while based in San Francisco. Two cross-town World Series match-ups were formally possible but did not occur. The Boston Red Sox vs. the Boston Braves, and the Philadelphia Phillies vs. the Philadelphia Athletics. The Braves moved to Milwaukee in 1953, and the Athletics moved to Kansas City in 1955. Currently there are four metropolitan areas that have two major league baseball teams—New York, Chicago, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Of the four, only Los Angeles has not hosted a cross-town World Series. Such a contest would pit the Dodgers against the Angels. Below is a chronological list of World Series played between teams from the same metropolitan area, with the winning teams listed in boldface. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cross-state rivalries. The historic rivalry between Northern and Southern California added to the interest in the Oakland Athletics Los Angeles Dodgers series in 1974 and 1988 and in the San Francisco Giants series against the then Anaheim Angels in 2002. Other than the St. Louis World Series of 1944, the only postseason tournament held entirely within Missouri was the I-70 Series in 1985 named for the interstate highway connecting the two cities between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Kansas City Royals, who won at home in the seventh game. 
Going into the 2017 season, there has never been an in-state World Series between the teams in Ohio Cleveland Indians and Cincinnati Reds, Florida Tampa Bay Rays and Miami Marlins, Texas Texas Rangers and Houston Astros, who now both play in the American League since the Astros changed leagues in 2013, making any future joint World Series appearance an impossibility unless one of the teams switches leagues, or Pennsylvania the Philadelphia Phillies and the Pittsburgh Pirates have been traditional National League rivals going back to the late 19th century. Neither the Phillies nor the Pirates ever faced the Athletics in October during the latter team's tenure in Philadelphia, through 1954. The Boston Red Sox never similarly faced the Braves while the latter team played in Boston through 1952. There also was never an All-Canada World Series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the former Montreal Expos, who never won a National League pennant when they played in the Canadian city from 1969 through 2004. The Expos became the Washington Nationals in 2005 raising the possibility of a potential future I-95 World Series. Between the National League team and the Al's Baltimore Orioles, who play just 50 miles to the north of Washington. Finally, the Los Angeles and or Anaheim Angels have never faced off in October against either the Dodgers or against the San Diego Padres for bragging rights in Southern California, although all three of those teams have appeared in the World Series at various times. Pennants won in different cities The Braves are the only team to have both won and lost a World Series in three home cities Boston, Milwaukee, and Atlanta. The Athletics have had three home cities Philadelphia, Kansas City, and Oakland, but have appeared in the World Series both winning and losing while based in only two of them Philadelphia and Oakland. Three other teams have both won and lost the Fall Classic in two home cities, the Dodgers Brooklyn and Los Angeles, the Giants New York and San Francisco, and the Twins the Twin Cities and Washington, D.C., as the first Senators. The Orioles are the only other team to have played in the World Series in two home cities Baltimore and St. Louis, as the Browns, but all three of their titles and three of their four losses have come while based in Baltimore. The original 16 teams At the time the first modern World Series began in 1903, each league had eight clubs, all of which survive today although sometimes in a different city or with a new nickname, comprising the "...original 16". Every original team has won at least two World Series titles. The Philadelphia Phillies National League were the last of the original teams to win their first series, in 1980. They were also the last to win at least two, with their second series victory in 2008. The Cubs were the first team to win the series twice, in 1907 and 1908. The last original American League team to win its first World Series was the Baltimore Orioles former St. Louis Browns, originally the Milwaukee Brewers, winning in 1966. The Orioles were also the last original team in the majors to make their first World Series appearance, as the St. Louis Browns in 1944. Although they never won another American League pennant while in St. Louis, they have won three World Series in six appearances since moving to Baltimore. The St. Louis Cardinals were the last original National League team to appear in or win a modern World Series, doing both in 1926. They have subsequently won more World Series than any other National League club, 11 championships through 2017. The New York Yankees have defeated all eight original NI teams in a World Series. Conversely, they have lost at least one World Series to six of the original NI teams, never losing to the Chicago Cubs or the Philadelphia Phillies. The Boston Red Sox have played at least one series against every original National League team except the Boston, Milwaukee and Atlanta Braves, with whom they shared a home city through 1952. 
The St. Louis Cardinals are currently the only club of the National League's original eight that holds an overall series lead over the Yankees, 3–2, taking that lead in 1964. The Giants won their first two series over the Yankees 1921 and 1922, but the Yankees have faced the Giants five times since then and have won all five, taking the overall lead over the Giants in 1937. The Pittsburgh Pirates and Yankees have faced each other twice 1927 and 1960, with the Yankees winning in 1927 and the Pirates winning in 1960, making the two teams .500 against each other. Since the two leagues expanded beyond eight teams apiece in 1961, the American League's Cleveland Indians are the only original team that has not won a World Series against the larger field of competitors. The 2015 World Series was the first ever, and to date only, World Series to not feature any of the original 16 teams. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Expansion teams after 1960. The 2001 Arizona Diamondbacks won their first pennant and World Series in fewer seasons than any other expansion team both attained in their fourth season. The 1997 World Series champion Florida Marlins achieved these milestones in the second fewest number of seasons fifth season. The fastest AL expansion franchise to win a pennant was the Tampa Bay Rays in 2008 11th season and the fastest AL expansion franchise to win a World Series was the Toronto Blue Jays in 1992 16th season. While the New York Mets were the first expansion team to win or appear in the World Series doing both in 1969, the American League would have to wait until 1980 for its first expansion team World Series appearance, and until 1985 for its first expansion team win. Both were by the Kansas City Royals. The AL also had two expansion teams appear in the World Series the Milwaukee Brewers being the second, in 1982 before the National League's second expansion team to appear—the San Diego Padres in 1984. With the New York Mets defeating the Chicago Cubs in a four-game sweep in the 2015 National League Championship Series and the Kansas City Royals defeating the Toronto Blue Jays in six games in the 2015 American League Championship Series, the 2015 World Series became the first ever World Series matchup in which both teams were expansion teams, where the Mets whose first season occurred in 1962 faced off against the Kansas City Royals whose first season occurred in 1969, with the Royals winning in five games. Until 2015, all World Series matchups featured at least one of the 16 teams established by 1903. In the first World Series to only have expansion teams, the New York Mets and the Kansas City Royals were each the first expansion team in each respective league to appear in the World Series, the Mets in 1969 and the Royals in 1980. Each team was also the first team in each respective league to win the World Series, the Mets in 1969 and the Royals in 1985. Each team has the most appearance by an expansion team in each respective league in the World Series, with five for the Mets in 1969, 1973, 1986, 2000, and 2015, and four for the Royals in 1980, 1985, 2014, and 2015. Twelve expansion teams have now played in at least one series. As of the end of the 2017 edition, expansion teams were 11 to 12 in the World Series, with four teams: the New York Mets, Kansas City Royals, Toronto Blue Jays, and Miami Marlins, each winning two. The then Anaheim Angels, the Arizona Diamondbacks, and the Houston Astros had each won one series by the end of the 2017 season. The Toronto Blue Jays 1992 and 1993, Miami Marlins 1997 and 2003 as the Florida Marlins, Arizona Diamondbacks 2001 and Los Angeles Angels 2002 as the Anaheim Angels have never lost a World Series appearance.
Five expansion teams have appeared in the World Series without ever winning a championship, twice for the Texas Rangers formerly the second Washington Senators and San Diego Padres, and once each for the Milwaukee Brewers formerly Seattle Pilots, Colorado Rockies, and Tampa Bay Rays, formerly Devil Rays. Two expansion teams have not yet won a league pennant and therefore also have not appeared in a World Series, the American League's Seattle Mariners and the National League's Washington Nationals formerly Montreal Expos. Both teams have competed in postseason play and appeared in their respective league championship series at least once, but have no league championship series victories. Other notes The team with the better regular season winning percentage has won the World Series 54 times, or 48.65% of, of the time. Three World Series have featured teams with identical regular season records 1949, 1958, 2013. The Toronto Blue Jays are the only Canadian team ever to win a pennant or a World Series, doing both twice, in 1992 and 1993. The Chicago Cubs and the Houston Astros are the only teams with a World Series title that have never clinched one at home. Three series have matched up the previous two world champions, with the New York Yankees winning all three. The 1928 World Series was contested by the 1926 champion Cardinals and 1927 champion Yankees. The Yankees won the series 4-0. In 1943, the 1941 champion Yankees met the 1942 champion Cardinals, which the Yankees won 4-1. In the 1958 World Series, the 1956 champion Yankees faced the 1957 champion Milwaukee Braves. The Yankees won this series 4 3. As the only two teams that have changed leagues, both the Milwaukee Brewers and Houston Astros have played in the American League Championship Series and National League Championship Series. The Brewers won their lone ALCS appearance in 1982 against the then California Angels and lost both of their NLCS appearances in 2011 against the St. Louis Cardinals, and in 2018 against the Los Angeles Dodgers, making them 1–2 all-time between both league championship series. The Astros, meanwhile, have a 2–4 record between both league championship series, having gone 1–3 in four NLCS appearances lost in 1980 to the Philadelphia Phillies, lost in 1986 to the New York Mets, lost in 2004 to the Cardinals, and won in 2005 versus the Cardinals and 1–1 in their ALCS appearances against the New York Yankees in 2017 and the Boston Red Sox in 2018 a victory in seven against the Yankees and a loss in five games against the Red Sox. With their victories in both the 2005 National League Championship Series and the 2017 American League Championship Series, the Astros are the only team in MLB to have represented both the National League and the American League in the World Series. The 2015 World Series Game 1 between the New York Mets and the Kansas City Royals was the longest Game 1 in history at 5 hours and 9 minutes. Yogi Berra of the New York Yankees holds the record for most World Series championships by a player with 10. Joe DiMaggio of the Yankees is second with 9. Joe McCarthy and Casey Stengel are tied for the most World Series titles by a manager with seven apiece, all 14 of them with the Yankees. Connie Mack managed the Philadelphia Athletics to five World Series crowns. The all-time World Series single-game attendance record is 92,706, set in Game 5 of the 1959 World Series at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, the temporary home of the Los Angeles Dodgers until Dodger Stadium opened in 1962. The Chicago White Sox defeated the Dodgers 1–0 in the record-setting game. Games 3 and 4 of that series also drew crowds in excess of 92,000. 
Game 3 of the 2018 World Series between the Boston Red Sox and Los Angeles Dodgers was the longest single game in series history at 7 hours and 20 minutes, which took longer than the entire 1939 World Series, with a cumulative duration of 7 hours and 5 minutes. The American League Central Division is the only division in baseball where all the teams have won at least one World Series. In fact, all five teams have won the World Series at least twice. Television coverage and ratings When the World Series was first broadcast on television in 1947, it was only televised to a few surrounding areas via coaxial interconnected stations, New York City WNBT, Philadelphia WPTZ, Schenectady, Albany, New York WRGB, Washington, D.C. and surrounding suburbs, environs. In 1948, games in Boston were only seen in the Northeast. Meanwhile, games in Cleveland were only seen in the Midwest and Pittsburgh. The games were open to all channels with a network affiliation. In all, the 1948 World Series was televised to fans in seven Midwestern cities, Cleveland, Chicago, Detroit, Milwaukee, St. Louis, and Toledo. By 1949, World Series games could now be seen east of the Mississippi River. The games were open to all channels with a network affiliation. By 1950, World Series games could be seen in most of the country, but not all. 1951 marked the first time that the World Series was televised coast to coast. Meanwhile, 1955 marked the first time that the World Series was televised in color. Carrot asterisk, not currently broadcasting Major League Baseball, carrot asterisk asterisk, per the current broadcast agreement, the World Series will be televised by Fox through 2021, carrot asterisk asterisk asterisk, Gillette, which sponsored World Series telecasts exclusively from roughly 1947 to 1965 prior to 1966, the series announcers were chosen by the Gillette Company along with the Commissioner of Baseball and NBC, paid for airtime on Dumont's owned and operated Pittsburgh affiliate, WDTV now KDKA -TV, to air the World Series. In the meantime, Gillette also bought airtime on ABC, CBS, and NBC. More to the point, in some cities, the World Series was broadcast on three stations at once. Carrot asterisk 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 asterisk. NBC was originally scheduled to televise the entire 1995 World Series. However, due to the cancellation of the 1994 series, which had been slated for ABC, who last televised a World Series in 1989, coverage ended up being split between the two networks. Game 5 is, to date, the last Major League Baseball game to be telecast by ABC had there been a Game 7, ABC would have televised it. This was the only World Series to be produced under the "...baseball network." Umbrella, a revenue-sharing joint venture between Major League Baseball, ABC, and NBC. In July 1995, both networks announced that they would be pulling out of what was supposed to be a six-year-long venture. NBC would next cover the 1997 NBC's first entirely since 1988 and 1999 World Series over the course of a five-year-long contract, in which Fox would cover the World Series in even-numbered years 1996, 1998, and 2000. Topic. Naming and international participation Despite its name, the World Series remains solely the championship of the Major League Baseball teams in the United States and Canada, although MLB, its players, and North American media sometimes informally refer to World Series winners as, "...world champions of baseball." Some Americans, even those close to world champions themselves, question whether the title is justified. It is often considered arrogant and ignorant 
By the rest of the world, the United States, Canada, and Mexico Liga Mexicana de Baseball, established 1925, were the only professional baseball countries until a few decades into the 20th century. The first Japanese professional baseball efforts began in 1920. The current Japanese leagues date from the late 1940s after World War II. Various Latin American leagues also formed around that time. By the 1990s, baseball was played at a highly skilled level in many countries. Reaching North America's high salary major leagues is the goal of many of the best players around the world, which gives a strong international flavor to the series. Many talented players from Latin America, the Caribbean, the Pacific Rim, and elsewhere now play in the majors. One notable exception is Cuban citizens, because of the political tensions between the U.S. and Cuba since 1959, yet a number of Cuba's finest ball players have still managed to defect to the United States over the past half-century to play in the American professional leagues. Japanese professional players also have a difficult time coming to the North American leagues. They become free agents only after nine years playing service in the NPB, although their Japanese teams may at any time host them for bids from MLB teams, which commonly happens at the player's request. Several tournaments feature teams composed only of players from one country, similar to national teams in other sports. The World Baseball Classic, sponsored by Major League Baseball and sanctioned by the sport's world governing body, the World Baseball Softball Confederation WBSC, uses a format similar to the FIFA World Cup to promote competition between nations every four years. The WBSC has since added the Premier 12, a tournament also involving national teams. The first event was held in 2015, and is planned to be held every four years, in the middle of the World Baseball Classic cycle. The World Baseball Classic is held in March and the Premier 12 is held in November, allowing both events to feature top level players from all nations. The predecessor to the WBSC is the sport's international governing body, the International Baseball Federation, also sponsored a Baseball World Cup to crown a world champion. However, because the World Cup was held during the Northern Hemisphere summer, during the playing season of almost all top-level leagues, its teams did not feature the best talent from each nation. As a result, baseball fans paid little or no attention to the World Cup and generally disregarded its results. The Caribbean series features competition among the league champions from Mexico, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Venezuela but unlike the FIFA Club World Cup, there is no club competition that features champions from all professional leagues across the world. Image gallery Topic See also Equals equals notes <laughs>